Welcome back to the Cowboy Slots channel. Today we're talking about the top five scams that you can find inside and around the casino environment. We want to protect you guys. There's a lot of crazy stuff out there. Anyway, my name is Mark. I'm from Cowboy Slots. And between Brantley and I, we bring you over 20 years of experience working in the casinos, working on slot machines, talking to industry experts to get you the most up-to-date and accurate information possible about how all this stuff works, okay? We talk to industry experts constantly. We're updating our information to get you the best. Anyway, we feel that educated gamblers are smart gamblers, and that's what we're trying to turn you into. So without further ado, let's get into these top five scams that you can find inside of the casino. All right, three card money, dice game, pick a card, any card. You've probably seen this before, or at least saw it maybe in a movie or maybe you've seen it in person. Uh, it's not as common as it used to be, but it is still out there. Okay, I've seen it in Vegas before recently. Anyway, these are people outside of casino establishments. I've even seen them on like elevated trains in Chicago. Okay, guys, it can be anywhere. What you see is you see somebody shuffling a card. Pick any card, pick any card, pick the queen, whatever it is, and you double your money. Listen. It may seem very easy, but everybody is in on it, okay? The fix is in. That's what's going on here, okay? As they are shuffling these cards, you're going to see people winning. These people are in on it, okay? <laughs> Believe it or not, even a big crowd of people, they are all in on it. And as soon as you step up, they may allow you to win once. Maybe they don't, but a lot of times they will allow you to win once, so you get hooked and think it's really easy, and then, bam, they hit you and you lose all your money, okay? <laughs> Guys, this is a scam, 100%. If you see anybody, you know, crossing the bridge in Las Vegas and they've got the cards out or they've got dice or something like that, keep walking, okay? And if, if they try to pester you to come on by and take a look at how easy it is, just keep walking. Say no thanks and keep walking, okay? What did I just say? Keep walking. <laughs> I figure if I say it many times, you guys will listen, right? So yeah, definitely keep walking. Don't, don't fall victim to those things, okay? Because they're very nefarious. They're all in on it and they will make it seem like it's a sure deal, but it's definitely not. So stay away from those games and stay inside of licensed casinos. Okay, this next one's all about illegal game rooms. Now this is a big problem in states that don't have a lot of casinos or any casinos at all. So in my home state of Texas, this is a big problem. Florida is, I've even heard Georgia has these. So what exactly are they? They are establishments that as soon as you walk in, you think that it's a mini Las Vegas, okay? You just look around, you see all your favorite games and Dragon Links and all that. And so it makes you feel like it's a, an established business, right? You see people playing, all that kind of stuff. Listen, they are not legitimate, and that is very scary. And there's not a lot of crackdown. Although Florida is really picking up the pace lately, but there hasn't been a lot of crackdown overall. It's going to be up to you to decide if it's real or not. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing is look up your state gambling rules, especially if you're new to the state. Okay, If you're moving into Texas or moving into Florida, look and see what is required to actually operate a casino. Okay, And a lot of them will even have a full list of all the licensed casinos in the state. Or if it's a tribal-based system, it'll have all the casinos within the tribe. It's up to you to do the research so that you don't fall victim to this. So why is it bad? Well, the reason is, is because they set those payback percentages on those machines extremely low, okay? Way not in your favor. And that's number one. But the second thing, which is the worst one, is that they are not obligated to pay you anything, okay? They could tell you to come back next Friday because they don't have the cash. And who knows, maybe you come back next Friday and they're not there anymore because uh, they got busted or something. Guys, just stay out of those. I know it's really hard for a lot of us gamblers to scratch that itch. You know, download a mobile game, do something like that, but don't walk into those places and put your money on the line uh, because it's heavily stacked against you and we don't want to see you get hurt. Okay, this one is pretty common around casinos, but it's actually pretty common all over the place and we want you to watch out for it. And that's the timeshare presentation scam, okay? They will entice you to come in there and get free tickets, free play, free hotel stays, free tours of the Grand Canyon, whatever the case is. In exchange, they want you to just go to a no obligation, sit down and listen to us for a couple hours. You know, you can walk away and get your tickets. It's not that easy, guys. If you've ever been in a high pressure sales situation, and I'm not talking about buying a car, this is 10 times worse. These guys will eat at you for an hour or two hours to get you to buy into the timeshare. Number one, never do that, okay? We've had some personal family history of timeshares. It's not a good idea. You don't want to get caught up in something like that. 
But anyway, you may think your willpower is very strong and you may think that you can easily tell these people no, but it is high pressure sales. So again, if you do see people on the street or right inside the casino or wherever the case is, they may even look established. If they start hitting you up for free tickets, free shows, whatever the case may be, and then they say those magical words, all we do is want you to listen to an hour or two hour presentation, say no thanks, walk away. Believe me, it's not worth the free tickets. You're going to be aggravated. You're going to be frustrated. <laughs> and we don't want you to do that because what do you do when you're frustrated in Vegas? You make stupid decisions. <laughs> so don't do that, please. So listen for that. Now, if they are giving away those free things and they don't require you to listen to a timeshare or anything like that, great. You know, it's a good promotion. But if there is that timeshare, and they don't say timeshare, by the way. They don't say that. They just say, oh, just a nice little presentation about our property, or they'll, they'll say something like that. Um, just, just keep walking. It's, it's not worth the, the free whatever that they're giving you in return, okay? Just keep walking. All right, this next one is really common, and it's something that you probably have witnessed yourself if you've ever been inside of the casino, and that is people trying to get money out of you, okay? It is not like it used to be where they just say, hey, can you spare five bucks? It's not like that anymore. They pull at your heartstrings. They try to come up with a clever story that makes sense. You know, that's how they get at you these days, okay? It's not just straight up asking you for cash. So you got to watch out for this stuff. I'll share a couple of stories. One, uh, I was sitting there playing pinball, I remember, and I, you ever get that feeling? You look over your shoulder and you feel like somebody's watching. Well, sure enough, somebody was watching me. And I got the bonus, and I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. And it was a good bonus. And, of course, he came up. He's like, man, that was an awesome bonus. Listen. I was like, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> and sure enough, he laid it on me. He's like, I was trying to get cash out with my ATM card. It wouldn't work. Hey, if I gave you my ID, could you go up to the cashier's cage and get cash out for me? What? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know, and he'll give me some kind of story as to why he, he needs me to do it, whatever the case is. No, don't do Don't fall for stuff like that. And other people will say things like, uh, this is the other thing that I experienced. You know, you walk away from a machine after you've been winning and they're like, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. And you're like, yes. And they say, hey, listen, it usually starts with that, right? Hey, listen. I'm like, no, not interested and just keep walking. But here's the next step. And this is what I do. And I'm not trying to get people in trouble or anything, but it's, it's important to keep the casino a safe environment for everybody so that everybody has fun. But I actually go up to the security desk or I talk to a slot attendant or whatever and let them know that that person is doing that so that the next person doesn't have to go through it. And that also prevents people from getting, you know, trapped up in something like that. So do the honest thing. Go rat them out so they can get out of the casino because those things are just not healthy. They're 100% scams. They will ruin your day and we don't want to see you get hurt with that, okay? So be careful out there. Be aware of your surroundings. You don't have to be rude about it. You know, don't tell them, get out of my face or anything crazy. Just, just say, listen, no, I'm not interested, and keep walking. Go find a security person and let them know. All right, number one, and this is the reason this channel exists, do not ever pay for secret slot or gambling advice. Secret is the key word there. If somebody tells you they have a secret to winning at slots or a secret to manipulating the casino or being able to tell when a progressive is going to hit or whatever the case may be, if they say that they know that but you have to pay to get it, that should be a huge red flag for you because number one, there are no secrets. Uh, number two, if they really did know, think about this, if they really did know when a progressive was going to hit or they did know that playing a certain machine over another one will guarantee you will win, why would they be telling you? They would be in a casino 24 seven using this technique. They are not, they're selling you the secret. That's how they're making their money is from people like you spending the money. So we don't wanna see you do that. On Cowboy Slots, we provide all of our information for free. We do this gladly because we want you to know exactly how these things work, that there is no manipulation going on. There's no way that you can have some kind of secret to winning. What we do on this channel, though, is tell you things that you have full control over, like your budget, knowing when to quit, setting your loss limits, setting your double up and walk away limits, all those types of things, as well as picking the volatility of the machines. And real quick, volatility is something that is true. You can go to a machine that is low in volatility and have a longer enjoyment out of it because the winds are going to be slow and steady. You're giving up those gigantic big progressives and all that kind of stuff, but 
you will greatly lengthen the time that you are playing on a slot machine because you are having a slow and steady win kind of environment. The high volatility are exact opposite of that. Hard to get the bonus rounds is like the Huff and Puffs and the Dragon Links, those kinds of games. You know, yeah, if you do get the bonus round really quick, it can be really good, very lucrative, but a lot of times it's very difficult to do that, and those are high in volatility. Um, that's not the ma machine screwing you or the casino screwing you or anything like that. It's just how that game is designed to play out. So anyway, there's no secret to this stuff. There's no way to walk into a casino and say, I know a couple of these machines are set to win. Let me go find them. That doesn't exist. You're not going to be able to find them, okay? Just have fun. Stick to your budget. Pick those low, low volatility machines. And please, please, please never pay anybody for secrets to winning at slots because it just doesn't exist. All right, guys, that is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up would be great, as well as a subscription. We do this stuff all the time here. We do some live play. We do some education. We try to have a lot of fun, and we have a huge Cowboy Slots family here that have learned a lot and are doing much better in the casino, and we hope that you join us as well. All right, from Brantley and I, we wish you the best of luck out there. Stay safe, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit RopeTheJackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.